What up, everybody? It's Pastor Jay again. I'm here with my main man, Greg. Greg. Uh, <laughs> Greg is another member of our church, but Greg is also uh, the leader of our outreach ministry alongside his wife. Uh, so we just wanted to have a quick question, a quick conversation, just talking about who you are, how you feel about our church. Uh, so first question, as I've done with all these other ones, is what has been unique for you about your experience with Freedom Wizard Mill? So um, I think it's a great question, but, but I think that probably for me, the, the uniqueness is the um, fact that I have not gone to a, uh, an interracial, multicultural, multigenerational church before. So that yeah. was a new um, experience for me. Uh, I have fellowshiped with people outside of my race, but um, I've never actively participated in a ministry mm -hmm. um, and been involved in it at, at this level. So that, that, that has been really unique. I think that uh, it's beautiful um, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it opened my eyes and allowed for me to see uh, kind of a picture of what the kingdom um, ought to look like. You know, and I know that yeah. I know that we have our woods and shoulds in our minds, and I'm one of those people <laughs> that do that. But uh, it's beautiful to see uh, black people, white people, old people, young people. Um, you know, different. We, I mean, we've even had people visit us from. Uh, we have uh, some uh, Hispanic people that come to the church. We've been visited by people of different faiths. Yeah. Uh, so it's really been it's really been an awesome thing to, to uh, view, but also to be actively participating in. Like we had, you know, I'm blessed to be, um, as you mentioned, with uh, the, the ministry leader for outreach. And when we have like events, you know, I've, I've actually seen people of, clearly of the, of the uh, Hindu faith come mm -hmm. and fellowship with us, you yeah. know? Yeah. And so it's, a, it's this beautiful thing um, that really supports exactly what we stand for, you know, as far as drawing people to Christ, that's part of what we do, but, yeah. uh, drawing people to Christ is a part of what we do. So I think that that, that plays out so beautifully, um, in the various different types of people that I see. Um, mm -hmm. so that has been unique for me. Um, that may not be unique for others because some, you know, people <laughs> had that experience, but, uh, it was a beautiful thing because, uh, yeah. my wife and I were at a place and in a space where, um, we were looking for, um, we were just really seeking God and we were seeking it beyond, um, uh, some of the traditional things that we'd experienced prior, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. not to say that those weren't good experiences because they all led us in a direction. Sure. Uh, but nonetheless, it allowed for us to to come into this warm, welcoming space uh, and experience something that was very unique to us. Um, mm. Jesus is the same, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but I'm start. I just I just saw so much more. So I yeah. hope that answers the question for you. Yeah, yeah, and I think it speaks to something that you and I have had extensive conversation about, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is this, which is this idea of church and culture. Um, yeah. So for those of you who don't know, uh, our mission is actually very simple. The third part of our mission is deploy to culture. Uh, mm -hmm. So I wanted to engage Greg specifically about this part of our mission, um, because I do think that a lot of churches suck at this part. That's, <laughs> so that's a good word. There you go. Uh, amen to that. Um, <laughs> and, you know, and I don't know that in some senses, that is necessarily the fault of the church itself. A lot of that I think is tradition has taught certain churches certain things. Uh, yeah. But of course, we are a church that we try to, we try as best as we can to be uh, outside of the realm of religion uh, yeah. and, and tradition. Uh, so I wanted to ask you specifically, um, just your thoughts on culture, your thoughts on how the church should impact culture and vice versa? How should culture impact the church? Um, and then if anything that you want to say specifically to uh, how you feel like we are deploying to culture or how us and other churches can deploy better? 
Man, that is a uh, that's a big one. That's a loaded question. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll try I'll try my best to 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 do it justice. So uh, I think that that we have a responsibility as it relates to culture. I actually think that we have a responsibility to be at the forefront of what culture should actually be. So mm-hmm. what I mean by that is we should be we should be the example. The church, uh, the body of Christ, mm-hmm. should set the tone and be the example for the world. Now, I know that um, that in and of itself is just probably countercultural because that's not the case. In many instances, yeah. we see that the culture actually impacts the church uh, and that everything is mm. driven by culture uh, for us, whether it's uh, dealing specifically with uh, westernized American culture, whether mm. it's uh, Eastern uh, culture, uh, whether it's Afrocentric or, or centralized culture, any yeah. of those things, you see all of this played out. Um, there's a culture of violence that we have to to, to deal with, the culture mm. of misogyny, the culture of mm. uh, you know hatred, and it, there's there's all these things uh, that kind of lead the way, uh, unfortunately, from a larger scale. Uh, but I think to answer your question, the first part of it at least, that we have we actually have the responsibility to set the tone. Uh, mm-hmm. to make sure that we are we are maintaining and putting forth the example of what the culture should actually look like, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, yeah. So I, I feel that uh, in the depths of my soul, and I know that, <laughs> <laughs> that you know that, um, you know, and it's a great, it, it's just a great question because there's, there's a lot that's happening in our culture right now mm-hmm. um, that actually lends to what I'm saying. So uh, I think that, you asked another question like, what can we do or how are we doing? So we, I, I believe in the sandwich method. So you always start with something positive, put something in between and then end with something positive. <laughs> so <laughs> from a positive perspective, I really, I, I really do believe that uh, Freedom, Church is, Freedom Church and churches like ours with the same similar mindset, uh, we're actually approaching this um, the right way. You mm-hmm. know, going out into the community engage in the community, uh, showing people, demonstrating the love of Christ, um, putting, putting our proverbial, you know, actions behind the words that we, that yeah. we preach, you know? Yeah. So, you know, for example, and I, I'm slightly biased, obviously is outreach, uh, ministry <laughs> leader, but we, we have the, the, you know, movie nights, uh, we have, um, the, uh, trunk retreats, we have mm-hmm. our, uh, the uh, events that we have, um, you're my pastor, you're supposed to be helping me right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we had, I just drew a we blank. Had so, street, movie nights, yeah. I mean, uh, block parties. Block parties. That, yeah, I don't know yeah. why I couldn't think of it. It was literally <laughs> block party, and my mind was blocked. The block parties. So, we do all these things to just touch the community, you know, school. Um, when we do the uh, school, school supply, supply giveaway, yeah. we go to the, you know, go to the schools just to give out donuts. It's just, it's, it's all these small little um, things that we do to make sure that our fingerprint is on the community. Yeah. And for me, I think that we do a good job at that. Now, yeah. how can that be improved upon? I think that in addition to that, um, there are some opportunities where, whereby we could maybe be more pronounced. And, I, and that's that's the way that I will that's the way that I will speak on that. Um, we've got this uh, pandemic that's been going on, and twenty twenty has been a trip. That's what a I'm whole call year. Twenty twenty, uh, a whole a whole year. year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with a whole year in and of itself, <laughs> and it's only June. Yeah, uh, but it feels like a year and a half, to be honest. <laughs> you know, so you got the pandemic. We've got, you know. Uh, a lot of it, it shook it shook the church you know yeah. and i'm not saying specifically freedom yeah, yeah, but i'm yeah. saying just in general it shook the body of christ you know it because it 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 caused for us to have to live out the gospel that we preach mm. you know and we were put we were we were put in a place where we literally had to to demonstrate the stuff that we talk that we tell so many people about you know yes. and i think that um I think that in some instances that was done very well, but in other instances, you know, on a personal note, it, 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 it scared me, you know, to be, 
to have a an unknown disease out in the street that could potentially mm. seep in through my eyes and my nose and my mouth, <laughs> uh, yeah. and, and and to not to not know like much about it, it 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 put that it put the verses about fear in my face, and mm. in some instances I failed, you know, and I feel like in some instances as a body that happened as well, you know, yeah. um, but I but I I also think that the issues that we've been having with, uh, cause there's a couple of things that's been going on from a cultural perspective. You know, we've got these murders going on. We've got the, um, the politics has really taken this ugly turn. You know, there's this racial divide in our country. Like I have not experienced in my entire adult mm -hmm. life. You know, it, it almost reminiscent of some of the stuff that I was told by my parents and grandparents, mm -hmm. minus like the, you know, the Jim Crow and all that other stuff. But yeah, it's yeah. like, it's so tense right now. Yeah. Um, and and the sad thing, and this is where I think we can do a better job, is that you actually see some of that, some of that division within the body. You know what I mean? And you did a great job preaching about that recently, about how, you know, Paul warned that we would see these things inside the body of Christ. Yeah. And we actually are seeing those things. Yeah. And that has put a tremendous amount of stress on the, on the body, in my opinion. Um, so I think that we could do a better job collectively at addressing that because, you know, it, it almost feels like work, you know, I'm in the, in the professional um, field as well. And it's like, it always comes down to this, like at work, it's, you don't talk about politics, you don't talk about race, yeah. you don't talk about anything tense. Yeah. And I don't know why, but that culture that we talked about a little earlier yeah. seems to have, you know, blanketed the truth. Yeah, like we don't talk sure. about certain things. And it's like, well, if we supposed to lead and if we supposed to be the example, it means we got to grab everything by the by the throat, you know, no violence yeah. intended, but we have to be the ones <laughs> yeah. to, to to choke out the lies, per se. And that's the imagery that I'm yeah. trying to, to portray. And I, and so, I, yeah, I, I think that that's a, that's, a, that's a beautiful point. And I think it's one of the reasons, you know, uh, for us, in, the reason why deploying the culture is so important is because we believe that the message that we believe, the good news of the gospel, but not just the gospel, but the Bible as a whole, has yeah. something to say about culture. What I yeah. really love that you said was you you made culture something multi-layered. Because I mm -hmm. think sometimes we think of culture as like just the culture. You know what I mean? And it's All like, right. no, there's actually subcultures within cultures that mm -hmm. have to be addressed. And if you don't address them, you miss it. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Um, yeah. So it's not enough to just um, it's not enough to just uh, do events for people that they can come to you for free because some right. people are challenged, but you also have to start meeting needs that are actually really important beyond entertainment. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, yeah. Which I, which, uh, you know, and, and I will say for us as a church, our Broken Loaves ministry does that very well. You understand yep. what I'm saying? Um, I agree. But even like being, you know, something that you and I talked about was being a part of um, the, the home associations and being present and yeah. fighting for what's right for people that live in the neighborhood. Yeah, um, knowing who our delegates are, yeah. knowing who our representatives are. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, to me, you know, and we should be involved in everything. There's nothing that we should not be involved in. People say, well, we don't discuss politics. Why not? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why aren't Christians lending their voice to what <laughs> happens in their community? Yes all the way up the flagpole per se, yes. the American flagpole. Yes. Why aren't yes. we, you know, yes. and that's the type of stuff we should be involved on every level. There should not be a space in our lives where we don't see Christ. Yeah. And that's, that's the way that I view it. So how I vote matters. What I, you know, who, who I'm around matters, what type of work I do matters. All these things actually matter because all these tentacles should show Jesus. Yeah. Um, I don't want to take too much time because, you know, we could talk forever, but, yeah, I'll, I'll end it with something <laughs> positive. Here comes my sandwich. I told you I'd do a sandwich. So um, I think that we, uh, the th something that we do very well when it comes to culture is that we are, we are always uh, at, always the, the leadership of our church is always trying to see what can we do to get others closer to Christ. And as long as we do that, 
as long as we meet, as long as we talk, as long as we strategize, make plans and actually implement those plans, even if, you know, the progress might be, you know, it might only be an inch, could yeah. be a yard. But yeah. as long as we continue to do that and keep Christ first as we do, I think that we will um, definitely uh, continue to make, to have a positive impact on culture. So yeah. there was Great. my sandwich. Did you like Great. the sandwich? I did. And, and we're all going to partake <laughs> in your sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you for being willing to do this. Um, yeah. I feel like we should do this again because I feel like you have more that you want to say and more than, I think it's just more conversation that could be had. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Uh, Love but to. We'll, Love to. We'll, we'll do this again. Thank you for joining me. Uh, hopefully yeah. this gives people an understanding of who we are as a church and just the fact that we're not looking to shy away from anything um, yeah. in any conversation. That's right. So I appreciate right. you for this, man. Seriously. All right, man. Yep. God bless. Appreciate it.